I received a, a call from Dr. Phillips uh, conceding and congratulating. Great sportsmanship by Dr. Peter Phillips. Congratulations to the most honorable Andrew Owners people, family, viewers, subscribers, or welcome. welcome back to our brand new video. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe, leave a comment, and like this video. Hope everybody have been a great night or day. So, Andrew Owners have stamped his class and retained the government of Jamaica by defeating the opposition leader, Dr. Peter Phillips. And Peter Phillips, you know what I mean, made a call to Andrew Owners to give him the congratulations. And that's very, very sportsmanship like and must say that is very great move by the opposition leader. And this is how the victory unfold. The Jamaica Labour Party won 49 seats and the People's National Party win 14 seats. So out of 50 had seats, I mean out of 60 had seats, the People National Party win only 14, which was not one of the best election by any means necessary. Or in the issue, it was on the worst election by a landslide count. I mean, and people, the People National Party have been broken now in that sense. And the Jamaica Labour Party have been pumped up. They have won a lot of seat. You know what I mean? And they're so happy. You know what I mean? So right now, the people must say Andrew Wallace are the man to take over the country. And Andrew, what, what most respect about Andrew? Andrew give, I mean, respect both of sides of the party. He shake hands with the PNP and the JLP. And he's a, he's a man like this. He went in, in, in rural communities and take off his shoes, went into rivers. And he's just a great sportsman by every means necessary. And he reformed the the government of Jamaica. But do you think Andrew Owners deserve to be the returning government of Jamaica? Do you think he's not doing his job? Do you think he's underperforming? Do you think that the majority of the people did not turn out was the PNP who were gonna turn around this election? Was they afraid to come out based on the virus or other means necessary? Was it a situation where they were they getting so much unfulfilled promise by both sides of the party? Say they say out oh, okay, we now about to vote none at all. But right now, Andrew Owners, we now must give him congratulations on that. You know what I mean? And the country is going to move forward. And the people, them, them vote. And then the vote count. So if you never vote, you don't have no say in this whole situation. And the people, them, a long time, them have vote. And this is one of the worst in the history. Based on my knowledge, the PNP have won one in it a lot of time, back to back. And based on how they won at the one these elections back in the days, they never winning by such you know I mean vast majority with landslide and land moving victory. You know I mean the PNP have done a lot, the JLP have done a lot. So let's see what the JLP have in store. You know I mean a lot of people are happy that the PNP lost. A lot of people are happy that the PNP have gotten landslide because they're not performing. A lot of persons are glad that the the JLP have won and we won also. They are happy that they, they are won with a landslide victory because they can stamp their class now to show the country of Jamaica that Andrew Olness and the Jamaica Labour Party have known this blueprint to go forward with this country. So let's see what this unfold. Let's see if this landslide victory will mean anything towards the country. But Everybody must try to keep safe now because we will have an outbreak of the virus, you know what I mean, the Kakarocha virus. So stay tuned for that, you know what I mean. Hopefully everybody who went here had their mask hands because you can see most of the people have their masks off. Even the, the MPs, the, you know what I mean, the, the caretakers, the counselors, most of them didn't have their masks on, you know what I mean. But hopefully none of them have contracted any virus or anything like that. So now the country have been decided by the people and the people have voted Jamaica Labour Party. But will we get a change or will we get what the people want? Some people have a bit to say the country has gone down the hill. That a person have to say the country has gone up the uprise. But oh, you can decide this. Just leave everything down below in the comment section. Because everybody have them up in and everybody have them reason why they think the country has gone down the gully. Or everybody have or a lot of persons have the reasons why this are that so if you want to stamp your class or to tell me why you think the country is going uphill leave it down in the comment section or where it's going downhill, downhill. is it Andrew friend Steve in the money is that they're not loyal is there criminal is there corruption in the background let's hear what Andrew have to say we are still considerate of those Jamaicans who still look on 
with uh, some suspicion, some concern, some apathy on the political basis. So we are very cautious in our approach to receiving this overwhelming regard. It must never be that the government that emerges from this victory takes on any characteristics of arrogance, of inhumility. It must never be that the government that emerges from this victory takes the people for granted in any way. As I stand here tonight, I am obviously happy to have won, but I want to assure all of you that I do carry this burden with great consideration of the expectations of not just, just those who elected us, but those who are looking on us for future decisions as to whether or not they will participate in the process. And I want to say to those persons who didn't participate this time that we, as a new government with an, uh, a mandate that is indisputable, that we will conduct ourselves in a way that will make you proud as well and make you want to participate in the next time. I raise this in my acceptance. I don't call this a, a victory speech. Because with such a large mandate, it brings a whole new dynamic as to how we manage government. In our last government, the narrative of corruption doubles, and it is not something that we can hide away. And I want to be clear, because there are many persons who will now be assuming state authority, who may not have the understanding as to how that authority should be used. They will know clearly that this government does not stand for corruption. We have, as a country, managed to come to consensus on fiscal matters, on monetary policy. There is an evolving consensus on crime and violence, national security. We have a consensus developing around growth policy. But there must now be a clear consensus, strong position on anti-corruption. The mandate is also a victory for conscientious and thoughtful policy. And we saw manifestos being presented that were pulled apart in terms of their content and structure. The manifesto that won is a manifesto that was realistic. The manifesto that was doable. And what it says to me is that the Jamaican politics, the Jamaican people are maturing in their outlook. They understand that populist policies can have a destructive impact on the national group. So, in that regard, Jamaica has won. We have had a very, uh, by and large, uh, a peaceful election, an election that can be emulated by other countries. We must all cherish our democracy. I want to acknowledge the PNP and Dr. Peter Phillips. Uh, tonight, I received a call from Dr. Phillips uh, conceding and congratulating. And I thought that was very sportsmanlike. And very dignified and, and really reflects well on our politics. And I too obviously commended him on a 
putting up a good fight. Um, as I said today in an interview, politics can be like gladiator sport. But after it is finished, we must all try to be good sportsmen and sportswomen. And for good reason. And for good reason. The task ahead of us is not just for the Jamaica Labour Party. The task ahead of us is for all of us, including the PNP. And so tonight I also appeal to PNP supporters. Do not feel dejected, celebrate the Jamaica's victory. You will have a very important role today. That with this large margin, this solid mandate, that we will be responsible. We will be responsible with the power that you have given to us. We will continue our good policies. We will keep Jamaica on the path to prosperity. We will usher in 